Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show, Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line, now of the Indianapolis Colts, uh, by way of uh, Maryland, the Maryland Terrapins and uh, Jacksonville Jaguars and a handful of other teams, one of the top pass rushers in the game, Unique Ngakwe, Ngakwe here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, Unique? I'm doing great. Thank you, Rich, for having me. I am doing just... How are you feeling? I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm good. How's your Friday going today? Man, it's going great so far right now. It's... Uh... A lot of storms going on right now in South Florida, so I'm just staying in the house right now. Oh, you're you're calling in from South Florida right now? Y- yes, sir. Okay. So then, uh, did you go to the Miami Heat game last night? Did you go there? Did you do that? Uh, no, I haven't. I, no, I didn't go to the game at all. No. no. Okay. Are you are you a hoops fan at all? You need? Are you a basketball fan? Uh, I watch from time. I watch from time to time. Yeah, when it gets to the playoffs and get to the uh, bigger things, I definitely like to tune in. But yeah, man, I'm just enjoying the home. Just enjoying uh, spending time with the pup, man. So. Bless. Oh, the pup! Tell me about your tell me yeah. about your dog. You need tell me about yeah, your dog. Yeah, I have a Belgian Malinois. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that breed. Uh, the military uses that uh, dog, uh, the breed, a lot. Law enforcement. So uh, he's only two years old. I got him two years ago, and we've been tight ever since. It's my guy. Okay. Uh, what's your What's your dog's name? What'd you name your dog? You His name is Seven, like the number. So you know, God created the earth in seven days. So that's why I went with that whole meaning. Of, you know, he was a special thing to me, so I'm a, a big, big religious guy, so uh, that was the meaning behind his name. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I, I do know uh, Belgian Malinois. Um, I have three children. There's a game that we play okay. called Dog Bingo, where um, <laughs> I never th- I never thought I'd be talking about this with Unique and Gakwe, but I am. Um, but yeah, it's Dog Bingo. And uh, the tiles that you pull out of the bag are all different breeds of dogs, and, and that's one of them. So I know exactly what that is. Uh, it helped me get bingo one time to, to uh, vanquish my children in a game in my house. So, yes, I know exactly <laughs> I like what that. that is. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's get to the, um, the Indianapolis Colts of it all and, uh, and what you have found uh, already first blush with your new teammates, Unique. Yeah, man, absolutely, man. I'm just excited, super excited, you know, starting from uh, the top down. Like, those guys uh, definitely have uh, – everything in place to be able to win a championship, starting with our quarterback with Matt. He's just bringing in that veteran presence, uh, that savviness to, you know, just lead this team and, you know, going to the defensive side of the ball, even though I've, I've missed out a couple other players on the offensive side of the ball, like Jonathan, Quinn Nelson, guys like that. But going to the defensive side of the ball, you have guys like uh, young guys like Quiddy, uh, all pro guys like Buckner, uh, Darius. You got guys that can fly around the ball, uh, Stefan. Uh, so, if we can just put the pieces together, you know, from all three phases, I feel like this team could be very, very special, and we can definitely uh, control the AFC South. Well, I mean, you know, uh, you you mentioned some very special uh, players and people. DeForest Buckner's been a frequent guest on this show, um, and then uh, the fellow behind you and Darius Leonard is no joke, as you know. That guy's absolutely, a... absolutely. So what what have you found? What have you what what have you found in talking to them? so far i mean in being with them and these guys just like me these guys work hard they're humble you know uh guys that show up each and every day ready to work willing to work man those are guys that i want to play with and you know go to war with every sunday guys that have the the same mindset and mentality as me you know just always respecting the game of football you know through uh, the little details man so those guys implement that each and every day and that's why I, i can ride with those dudes any any have you connected with matt ryan at all Unique. Oh yeah, for sure. We we texted when uh when both trades happened. You know, um, his trade in specific. As soon as he got traded, you know, uh, we we uh, connected and uh, we just told each other that we're ready. You know, to uh, help lead this uh, team. You know, to a uh, championship. So that's our whole goal right now. And uh, Matt is super excited. Uh, I was there for a team meeting and Matt just got in front of us and you know told us his vision of what he's uh foresees in this team. You know, uh, for this twenty 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 two season, man. So. We're just we're all excited and we're all we're all buying into what's going on. All right. Well, um, I want me more meat on those bones. So you're 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 having a team meeting and um, Frank Reich says, "Here's Matt," or Matt raises his hand and says, "I'd like to say something." I mean, what happened? What happened there? Yeah, Matt. So basically, uh, Coach Frank he uh, he uh, gave Matt the floor. You know, Matt. Uh, it was already you know pre-discussed that Matt will uh, speak to the team and mm-hmm. just the nuggets that Matt was giving us within that discussion. Uh, was super, super critical uh, to uh, basically absorb because what he was saying were, were the keys and the, uh, the certain uh, details that we need to follow 
in order to come together as a team and win a championship. And it all starts in the off season. You know what I'm saying? People want to wait till the season and try to come together and build this camaraderie when the camaraderie it starts in the training camps, you know, when you when you're tired and you and and, and, it, and your body you got a hammy or you got a groin or something going on, but you're still pushing through those through those times together as a team. Those are when uh, championship teams are built. So, you know, he just kind of hinted on that. Have you met uh, Jim Irsay yet? You cross paths with him, unique? I haven't, haven't, haven't yet. No, sir. He's an interesting cat, that guy. I'll tell you that. Okay, he cool. is. He's got he's got a mil- <laughs> he's got a million um you know. Uh, items from the history of rock and roll. Uh, it's amazing. The guy is, he's deep and he's been around the, the, the game quite a bit. You know, if you're okay. into, if you're into music, you can have a great conversation with him. That's for sure. Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. He, Thanks for telling me that. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. I don't know. Just as a conversation starter, you know, along with, you know, uh, give me more money. I mean, that would be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could do that. Absolutely. You could do yes, that. Sir. How have you, how's your game improved since you uh, first came off the campus uh, at Maryland? Oh, you... Man, my game has improved, um, I would say, in numerous ways. You know, uh, just, you know, recognizing, uh, first of all, uh, my weaknesses. You know, every player has a weakness. And it's about capitalizing on those weaknesses. And um, I feel like one thing I've changed in my game is, just awareness, uh, situation awareness, because certain things can happen uh, within a situation. For instance, in a two-minute situation, the game is on the line. Instead of trying to, you know, jump the snap count, you know, you, re- you really got to keep the ball because the offense would have will take advantage of any opportunity and situation to be able to get as much yards as possible. So just little, you know, uh, details like that, and then also, you know, just uh, always being the, your biggest critic. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be an overall. Uh, just overall great player. You know, you mentioned early in the conversation as you uh, introduced me, you said that, uh, you know, one of the best pass rushers, but I want to be considered, you know, one of the best football players, you know, overall. And uh, there's work that I have to do each and every day to be able to be able to attain those goals. So, you know, uh, working against, you know, play action passes, working against, you know, run plays, whether I'm in a six technique, a four technique, a five technique, you know, just being stout on every single aspect of the game. Um that's my goal, and uh, that's why I feel like I've improved. Yeah, I mean, uh, no fewer than eight sacks in any of your seasons, including ten last year in Vegas. Um, you know, I know we talked about the here and now, but just you know, going back a few pages here, um, what was it like in Vegas last year for that one season? Unique. What was it? Oh man, it, I feel like it was a a transition period uh, just for me, not as a football player, but just you know, as a man. Uh, Going through those, you know, few teams, you know, after Jacksonville, it kind of just instilled, like, um, I would say a, a certain grit about myself, you know, to being able to endure certain situations, even though, you know, uh, you're not you're not in full control of it. So, um, you know, that's why I just trust the God, man, and being able to have a successful season and being able to, you know, meet uh, awesome coaches like Coach Bisaccio, Coach Marinelli was a blessing, and they all played a part in the man I am today. So, um I wouldn't change that for everything, man. It was a blessing to be part of that uh, a great organization. Well, yeah, I, 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 the the reason why I bring it up is, uh, you know, I've been around this almost 20 years now uh, with the NFL Network, and I, I just don't recall a season like anything last year about what was happening in the locker room where the coach was there and then he's gone, uh, what happened with Henry Ruggs in that awful moment where uh, somebody's life was taken. Um, and 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 that what Absolutely. that must have been like in the locker room that entire season for you, unique and your teammates. Yeah, man. You know. Oh yeah, it was definitely a difficult situation to go through, and um, but it showed you that the character and the heart of that team to be able to uh, endure and go through all those uh, obstacles and adversities, and be able to still you know get a spot in the playoffs, man. You know, special shout out to every single player that was part of that, you know, 2021 season with the uh, Las Vegas Raiders because they all played a major part in uh, allowing us to advance that far in the season. And then that last game of the year, too, the regular season, um, were you were you anywhere near the coach making his decision about whether to kick that field goal or just take the tie and let everybody go to the playoffs? Or you wanted to win and, and stick it to the Chargers? What was that like on the sideline that night? Oh man, it was it was it was crazy because it just showed like, oh man, the, the confidence like Coach Bisaccio he had in our team and you know he was our interim, but 
he was also our special teams coach, so it was ultimately his decision. And, you know, that decision was, you know, you know, life changing. We, we did something special, man. The Raiders weren't, we haven't been to the play. When I was a Raider, we weren't in the playoffs for, you know, a few years, you know, five, however long it was. So to be able to do that. And like you said, previously endure all those events that, you know, never really happened to a, a, a football club, it, it just shows like how special those men were. Is it true though that they were you you were gonna go for the tie until uh, I guess um, I, you know the Chargers took a timeout? Do you remember that whole sequence? You need? I don't actually don't remember the whole sequence okay. uh, uh, back to back mm. like that, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do like that. Mm. I was just you know I had my head down the whole time. I was just ready to go <laughs> to the playoffs. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm, that I'm sure. Uh, so are you circling the Jacksonville games? The two Jacksonville games on your no, schedule? No, man. no, no, no hard feelings. No, no, no hard feelings at all. I'm, I'm forever thankful for Jacksonville because that was the first, you know, team to uh, believe in me and give me an opportunity to be able to show my talent. So at the end of the day, it's always all love. I'm just going to treat it like another, you know, Sunday game and to put out there, you know, for uh, for anybody, you know, they try to blow up this, you know, Raider thing where I'm trying to it's a, a revenge game or something like this. Not no re- revenge game or anything. They will be treated like every other opponent. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a game. It's a game that we like to have. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as as, as as Americans, it's a fun sport. You know, we grew up on, it, and that's how I'm treated. Yeah, you got the you got the Vikings too. It's kind of like a a, a reunion tour for you coming up on your schedule. Absolutely. Year. I saw Absolutely. that. I saw that. <laughs> so you said you texted <laughs> Matt Ryan. You said you texted Matt Ryan when when he came aboard, right? And and vice versa. So uh, oh, yeah. you've known him for a while. You've known Matt for a while? No, nah, we've just known each other, you know, through being competitors and competing sure. each and every Sunday. Okay. Does, yeah. does anybody just, respect. just in, in first blush, being around him and being around him as a teammate, does anybody refer to him as Matty Ice there in, in, in Indianapolis? Yeah. Unique? I'm anybody? Sure I've heard that a few times. Really? They, ref- they, they call him Matty Ice? That's what he, does he say? Yeah, call, I've, does heard, he say? I've, heard, I've heard Matty. I've heard Ice a couple of times. Ice, <laughs> oh, yeah, like I've he's in Top Gun. Man. Okay, so um, so does he say call me Matty Ice? Does he say that? Hey, I'm, I'm Matt Ryan. Call me Matty Ice. Nah, well, not, nah. No. He says hey, he says hey, I'm Matt. You know, he's not going above and beyond. He's one of the most you know uh, humble, he is. clean cut guys you'll meet. I know he really is. So if you want to mess with him, I've got a way for you to mess with him. Oh, if you gosh. if you're for that, you need. <laughs> I've been okay. I've been Sorry. trying to I've been trying to get him to change his nickname to calling him the Matural for like 15 years and he refuses it to the point where my guys can't even bring a, a, a believe I mean, that I don't even want to look at you. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. so just go up to him and say, "Hey, hey, Matural, how you doing?" Just next time, just just he'll, casually, he'll, he'll know. He'll know. He'll know. He'll. He, he, you'll stop him in his tracks and he'll say, "What?" Like that. It'll be it'll be a great moment, and then he'll probably slag on me. But it just any time. Anybody can just throw that at him when he's least expecting it. It would be, it would be. Uh, yeah, I'm just asking. I know we've, we've just met, and I'm asking for a favor. Just next time, say, "Hey, Matchwell, what's going on?" That's it. And just keep walking. See what he says. I got that in the notebook. Got gotcha. you. Write it down. <laughs> yeah, write it down. Hey, Matchwell, what's going on? That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. Okay, Yannick. Thank you so much. Let's let's do this more often. Uh, enjoy hanging with Absolutely. Seven. Enjoy hanging with the with yeah. Seven, and uh, and and uh, we'll see you go dominate this fall. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate you for having me. Oh, anytime. Yannick Ngakwe right here on the Rich Eisen Show. There you go. I have no shame. What are you talking about? What's your problem? What do you have a problem with that? Here's, it's here's, great. It's great. Just like, again, we gotta, I got to follow up with Chris Ballard. Like, wait, hey, have you You said you were going to put it on social media. We're going to do that. I, I'm, I mean, again, he's the general manager. He generally manages things. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to him, but I could, I, I do need to sort of lob in a text, say, hey, it's been a couple of weeks, are you, what, what are you doing? But anytime somebody can go up to him and do that, it's, it's kind of like Costanza, like Costanza, like you're, you're humming something later on that day. My I'm problem, everywhere. My problem is I'm this. everywhere. My problem is this. Yeah. My problem is this. How many Super Bowls did Matt win with the Falcons? Zero. Okay. Does he have a chance to win a Super Bowl in his new spot? A million percent. Yeah. Why are you messing with that? This, Why guy this, needs mess to, with this guy needs to be laser focused, locked in That's all it. the I'm time. Not. And you're having his teammates, his general manager. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to get his head coach involved at some point. Just mess with him and tweak him and like throw him off and screw him up. Like, why are you doing that? Matt, me, you, Matt is your friend. See, you're taking this the wrong way, Chris. No, I'm making it. No, 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 no. You, you're making it all about you. No. And you need to think mm-hmm. about the Colts. I am. How about this? 
May I flip the script a bit? The answer is yes, because I have the microphone here. So here we go. Let me ask you a question, Chris. How many Super Bowls did Matt Ryan win with the nickname Matty Ice? How many Super Bowls has he Again, won with the nickname? You're oh, making it about no. you. How many Super Bowls has he won with the nickname Matty Ice? You asked me a question, I gave you the answer. I'm not asking you a question. How many? This, this is a, this how is, many? What do they call it? A false equivalency? That's not this is all. a false equivalency. How many? Has he, you answer the question. Zero. There we go. Zero. Well, you don't, have to add, you don't have to sound like you're, you know. Zero. You have mice and men over there. How many? There. Is he won with the Metro? Hey, maybe. This, this is, you know, this is a particular beef that he has with you and you have with him. Got nothing to do with me and Mike, so I just sit Yeah, there. I'm just kind of sitting here as an outsider. This has nothing to do but with But you guys me. think it's preposterous. It's okay to back me up here. I, I, honestly, I feel it's a little <laughs> preposterous that you get so angry about it, yes. but at the same because point. Because Matt is trying to win a Super Bowl, and you're having his teammates, you're wasting valuable on-air time yeah, with so, them so to when you talk come in, about this dumb nickname that we, he doesn't want for 10 years running. I'm getting the and, that, like, and you're having him screw with him when he's like, it's so other silly. things to focus on. I yeah. get the feeling that Brotman doesn't necessarily enjoy the fun aspect of this. So after nothing about the natural conversation after any loss the last man, decade after, has been fun. After any loss the Colts have, Matt Ryan will go to the podium and say, I take full responsibility. I was just totally distracted by that time six months ago that <laughs> Unique and Gakwe said, hey, natural, Rich Eisen's to blame. Uh, normally, uh, normally I say look in the mirror, but I'm looking at Rich. I hope one day I get to hang Sorry, out Colts with Matt fans. Ryan and we can have a real conversation about the natural nickname. Let's do and it. And how much he hates it. Let's do it. We'll do it over natural ice beer, <laughs> which I'm sure he loves to drink because that's what he got a nickname in high school. This is a, n- you know, not a nickname worthy of you know a man. The nickname, you know, you know, the, you know ice doesn't just re- uh, refer to beer, right? You're aware of that, Matty Brett Kavanaugh? Ice. That's I what mean, you call him. <laughs> Jeez, let it go. Let it go. I'm I'm trying to help you. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.